In this video, we are going to cover a new concept in JavaScript arrays called associative arrays. So what exactly are associative arrays in JavaScript? So the first thing is that whenever you declare any kind of an array in JavaScript, all of the indexes are usually is go are going to be numeric indexes. So which means all whenever you assign any kind of element to a particular location inside the array, by default you are going to use numeric indexes. So which means the elements are going to be placed in their respective numeric indexes whenever you are working with an array. But there exists a particular beauty with respect to associative arrays in JavaScript. So before even considering associative arrays here, the most important thing you will have to understand here is that a JavaScript array can have string based indexes. So earlier in my previous tip we have seen like all these indexes are really numeric indexes but JavaScript can have string based indexes so we don't really need to have zero based or say numeric based indexes to be provided. We also have the luxury of having string based indexes. So I can also write emp.employee number equal to 1001. So essentially that means I would like to place this value in this location being identified by the name employee number. So the location names or the positions can be named in the form of strings. And those particular arrays which have string based indexes are nothing but associative arrays. So any kind of an array as long as they have string based indexes we can consider them as associative arrays. And how do we parse those particular arrays? So each of those particular string based indexes you provide we can consider them as keys. So keys. So similarly we can say that you know I can always get any kind of value by using the key using that particular array. So array of key results in the value for that particular key. So essentially you are storing key value based values so elements or say objects. So key value pairs you are storing inside the array. So in order to pass through all of these keys there exists a construct for with in. So in is the one we are going to use here. So whenever you say for key in EMP, it essentially goes through each and every particular string index here. And finally, for each and every iteration, it is going to have those particular uh, keys to be stored inside this variable. So it doesn't necessarily be a key. You can also put a variable called I or A or P or whatever. So just for our understanding sake, I mentioned it as key. So for each and every iteration, each of those particular keys will be available in these variables and using those particular variables as keys, you can get the value out of it using emp.key. So for example, I have employee number. So that particular employee number will be used as a key for the first iteration and the same employee number will be placed in here and immediately I have 1001 which will be essentially taken back into item. So I use emp.employee number which will be getting item here. So let us have a quick uh, demonstration. So let me create uh, a new file here. So I call this one as 04 for now. Okay. So I start with script tag here. And in this case I would like to have an empty array to be declared first. And as I am working with associate array, the indexes could be string type. So in this case the first index is going to be employee number and I would like to place some value kind of 1001. So similarly I can have name. So which would be jag in this case. Similarly I can have one more called salary. 
equal to say 5400 something so similarly I can have department number as well so I can place something like this or I can provide a string like accounting so finally in order to display all the values I can say display EMP so which means I would like to go through each of those particular indexes get all those values and finally display inside a particular div so I would like to have all of those to be done whenever I click a button so I would like to have input type equal to button and the caption is going to be something like uh, uh, show EMP and on clicking of that I would like to execute to display EMP and I would like to have a horizontal rule and after that I would like to have a div and I would like to call this one as results div for now and now inside the display EMP so this is the function which gets executed the moment I click on the button so inside this first of all I need to get the reference of this particular div so for that purpose I will be using the same variable however with document.getElement by ID and I can provide the div here so after that now I am going to use the for with in syntax so I can use key or k or whatever anything is fine here so I can say for key in EMP so which means go through this particular array EMP get all those string based indexes and for each and every iteration get each of those particular strings into k and now I can create a new div for each and every iteration and I am going to use document dot create element and inside that I am going to use div so which means I would like to create a new div element and I would like to say the content of this particular div element is going to be the key whatever I am going to have as part of the iteration and then the value out of it so in order to get the value all I have to use is array and the key so once I have the new div created I need to add that particular div to results div so I say results div dot append child and now I can say sorry new div so let us test this and now you can see I can click on show EMP and now you are able to see all of those particular string based indexes and their respective values which nothing but we are going to call it as associative array so any array which is having string based indexes can be called as an associative array